The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining me today on this Wednesday, May 11th. Wednesday, May 11th. Today we'll have Joshua chapter 15. So let us begin in Joshua chapter 15 and begin praying together. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Hear the word of the Lord from the book of Joshua, the 15th chapter, entitled The Allotment for Judah. The allotment for the tribe of the people of Judah, according to their clans, reached southward to the bounder of Edom, to the wilderness of Zin at the farthest south. And their south boundary ran from the end of the Salt Sea, from the bay that faces southward. It goes southward of the ascent of Arachabim, passes along to Zin, and goes up south of Kadesh Barnea, along by Hezron, up the Adar, turns about to Karkar, passes along to Asmon, goes out by the brook of Egypt, and comes to its end at the sea. This shall be your south boundary. And the east boundary is the Salt Sea, to the mouth of the Jordan. And the boundary on the north side runs from the bay of the sea, at the mouth of the Jordan. And the boundary goes up to Beth Hogla, and passes along north of Beth Arabah, and the boundary goes up to the stone of Bahan, the son of Reuben. And the boundary goes up to Deber from the valley of Echor, and so northward, turning toward Gilgal, which is opposite the ascent of Adam, which is on the south side of the valley. And the boundary passes along to the waters of en- en- Shemesh, and ends at Enrogel. Then the boundary goes up by the valley of the son of Hinnom at the southern shoulder of the Jebusite, that is Jerusalem. And the boundary goes up to the top of the mountain that lies over against the valley of Hinnom on the west at the northern end of the valley of Rephim. Then the boundary extends from the top of the mountain to the spring of the waters of Nephita, and from there to the cities of Mount Mount Ephron. Then the boundary bends around to Bala, that is, Karith Jerim. And the boundary circles west of Bala to Mount Seir, passes along to the northern shoulder of Mount Jerim, that is, Chisalon, and goes down to Beth Shemesh, and passes along by Timnah. The boundary goes out to the shoulder of the hill north of Akron. Then the boundary bends around to Shikharon, and passes along to Mount Bala and goes out to Jabneel. Then the boundary comes to an end at the sea. And the west boundary was the Great Sea with its coastline. This is the boundary around the people of Judah according to their clans. According to the commandment of the Lord to Joshua, he gave to Caleb the son of Jephunneh a portion among the people of Judah. Kerith, Araba, that is Hebron, Araba was the father of Anak. And Caleb drove out from there the three sons of Anak, Shisha and Ehman and Telma, the descendants of Anak. And he went up from there against the inhabitants of Deber. Now the name of Deber formerly was Kerith Sefer. And Caleb said, Whoever strikes Kerith Sefer and captures it, to him will I give Akshah, my daughter, as wife. And Othnil, the son of Kenaz, the brother of Caleb, captured it. And he gave him Akshah, his daughter, as wife. When she came to him, she urged him to ask her father for a field. And she got off her donkey, and Caleb said to her, What do you want? She said to him, Give me a blessing, since you have given me the land of the Negeb. Give me also springs of water. And he gave her the upper springs and the lower springs. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the people of Judah, according to their clans. The cities belonging to the tribe of the people of Judah in the extreme south, toward the boundary of Edom, were Kabzil, Edir, Jagu, Kinah, Dimana, Adahada, Kedish, Hazor, Ithnan, Zif, Tilim, Beluth, Hazor, Hadatha, Karuth, Hezron, that is Hazor, Amem, Shibam, Molada, Hazer, Gada, Heshman, Beth Pelet, Hazer, Shue, Beersheba, Biz Athia, Berlin, Lim, Ezim, Elalad, Chesel, Harma, Ziklag, Mad Manama, San Sanata, Lebeoth, Shilim, An, and Rimun. 
in all 29 cities with their villages. And in the lowland, Eshtil Zora, Hashna, Zanawa, In Genem, Tupal, Inem, Jarmuth, Adulem, Shach, Ezekah, Sharim, Gedethem, Gedera, Gedarathem, 14 cities with their villages. Zinen, Hadeshash, Migdalgad, Dilin, Mizbah, Jokthil, Lakish, Bozkath, Eglon, Kababan, La Mem, Shitlish, Gederuth, Beth Dagon, Nema, and Makdidak, sixteen cities with their villages. Libna, Ether, Ashen, Iptoth, Ashna, Nizib, Kili, Ashzib, and Merashah, nine cities with their villages. Akran, with its town and its villages, from Akran to the sea, all that were by the side of Ashdod, with their villages. Ashdod, its towns and its villages, Gaza, its towns and its villages, to the brook of Egypt, and the great sea with its coastline. And in the hill country, Shemir, Jatir, Shakoth, Dana, Karith, Sanar, that is, Deborah, Aneb, Eshtimo, Anim, Goshen, Holon, and Gelo. Eleven cities with their villages. Arab, Duma, Eshhan, Janim, Beth Tabu, Apekach, Humta, Kerith, Araba, that is Hebron, and Zior, nine cities with their villages. Maon, Carmel, Zip, Juta, Jezreel, Jok, Diem, Zanoa, Cain, Gibeah, and Timna. Ten cities with their villages. Helil, Beth Zur, Gidor, Mareth, Beth Anoth, and El Eltikon. Six cities with their villages. Kirith Baal, that is Kirith Jerim, and Reba, two cities with their villages. In the wilderness, Beth Araba, Midin, Sekafa, Nibshan, the city of salt, and Ingidi. Six cities, six cities with their villages. But the Jebusites, inhabitants of Jerusalem, the people of Judah, could not drive out. So the Jebusites dwell with the people of Judah at Jerusalem to this day. So far the word of the Lord. Chapter 15, Judah receives precedence in the allotment of land. The assigning of land to Judah points to our end times promised land through Christ, who came from the tribe of Judah. As Judah was assigned land before fully possessing it, so the Lord gives us eternal life even before we fully possess it in our, in the resurrection. We pray, O Lord, grant me faith to receive the promises that you have laid before me for the sake of your Son. Help me also to be faithful to those promises until they are fulfilled completely in heaven. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We continue now on this 11th day of May with the Pray for Us calendar and the weekly prayers of the church. On this 11th day of May and Wednesday, we pray for God to comfort and sustain the missionaries who are not able to see family and friends in the United States this year. May the Holy Spirit comfort them with his presence and assurance of God's calling to serve far from home. We pray that in Jesus' most holy name. Amen. You have promised, O Lord, to be our God, and we rejoice to be your children by grace. Hear now the prayers of your people for all manner and conditions of men. Your church is set among many and great enemies, O Lord, and yet you have promised that no enemy will triumph over us. Give us such confidence in your promise that we will not fear and give us the courage of your love that we may love our enemies and pray for those who persecute us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. You have promised us the gift of your spirit to make known to us all truth and to keep us in your word. Grant to us, O Lord, faithful pastors who will teach us your word and devoted church workers who will serve us in your name. Bless those who now are preparing for church work vocations and inspire many to follow your call, Lord, in your mercy. 
Hear our prayer. O merciful Father, you have wounded your own Son to bring us the eternal healing of your love. Bless the sick and those who suffer, those wounded in body or mind, and those dying, and all those we now name to you in our hearts. In your own time, grant to them healing according to your will and sustain them until the day of the resurrection of the body. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All these things, O Lord, and whatever else you know we need, we pray you to grant us for the sake of the mercies and by the merits of our Savior, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We now confess our faith, speaking the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We're bold to pray together as he has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.